The sky hums with anticipation, like a battlefield awaiting the command to strike. Imagine a fleet of fighter jets poised for action, ready to deliver precision from afar. Can you predict the outcome? The world took notice when the U.S. Marine Corps unveiled their latest tactical advantage, new long-range missiles designed to shield their fighter jets from enemy air defenses. In a significant leap forward, the Corps conducted groundbreaking tests from August 27 to 28, 2024, at Marine Corps Air Station, Miramar, California. Partnering with the legendary F-A-18 Hornet, they tested the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile AGM-158A, also known as JASM, marking a pivotal moment in military aviation. The success of this test is not just a technical achievement, it represents a bright future for the Marine Corps' strike capabilities. With JASM now integrated, this missile is set to become a vital asset in their inventory. JASM offers long-range precision strike capabilities, allowing the Marine Corps to carry out missions more effectively and safely. However, the story doesn't end there. With this strategic move, the Marine Corps also plans to integrate fifth-generation fighter platforms like the F-35. The addition of long-range precision strike capabilities through AGM-158B and AGM-158C anti-ship missiles further strengthens the Marine Corps' position in an increasingly competitive battlefield. So, what are the capabilities of the Hornet after being upgraded with the JASM missile? Let's delve deeper. Welcome to the modern context of combat, where long-range strike capabilities are crucial. Amid this dynamic, the F-A-18 Hornet emerges as an impressive tactical aircraft, delivering unmatched air superiority. Its resilience is largely due to the General Electric F-404 engine design, which can withstand engine failures or fires under adverse conditions. This aircraft is not only cost-effective and reliable, but also serves as the backbone of the U.S. Navy's carrier air wing, a role that will continue for decades to come. In service since 1984, the Hornet offers increasingly enhanced mission capabilities, strengthening overall operational support. With its multi-role capabilities, this aircraft is well-positioned alongside more advanced future generations, ready to face the challenges in the skies. The Hornet can perform a variety of missions, including daytime and nighttime strikes with precision-guided munitions, fighter escort, close air support, enemy air defense suppression, maritime strike, reconnaissance, forward air control, and tanker missions. Weighing 51,900 pounds and capable of reaching a maximum speed of Mach 1.7, this aircraft is a perfect blend of power and agility. Over time, this easily maintainable Hornet has undergone significant enhancements. Features like advanced forward-looking infrared targeting, helmet-mounted queuing systems, multifunctional information distribution systems, and modern rear crew stations have made it increasingly efficient in executing missions. With the introduction of JASM, the Hornet's capabilities have been further elevated. The question is, does this enhancement make it superior to previous weaponry? If you have doubts about the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, or AGM-158A JASM, what leads to that thought? JASM is a cruise missile designed for conventional land strikes, and notably, it features stealth capabilities that make it difficult to detect. With a range of over 370 kilometers, this missile can be launched from various fighter aircraft such as the F-15E, F-16, B-1B, B-2, and B-52H. Interestingly, this is not the first time JASM has been used in combat. In 2018, the United States launched JASM from a B-1B Lancer bomber for the first time, targeting a chemical weapons facility in Syria. Since then, JASM has proven itself to be a highly effective weapon. 
Now imagine if Jossum is integrated with the Hornet. This capability would give the Hornet the power to strike targets from long distances, well beyond the reach of enemy air defenses. During testing and validation, the AGM-158A was actively used, highlighting the importance of this missile. Typically, practice missiles are used in tests to avoid damage to munitions. However, there were no practice missiles for JASM, indicating its strategic role in military operations. The efforts to modernize the Hornet for combat in these challenging environments are highly anticipated. JASM indeed surpasses the AGM-84HK Standoff Land Attack Missile Expanded Response, or SLAM-ER, which is currently used by the Marine Corps' Hornet fleet. While the SLAM-ER can only strike targets approximately 250 kilometers away, JASM, with its much greater range and stealth features, provides the Marine Hornet with the essential strike capabilities needed in the face of modern threats from anti-access or area denial systems created by China and Russia. Amid the sophistication of JASM that extends the strike range of the Hornet, there's an undeniable reality. While JASM enables the Hornet to attack targets from a distance, the aircraft itself has range limitations that must be considered. This means that the location of air bases and logistical support become crucial factors. When JASM is integrated into the Hornet's weapon systems, new challenges arise. More complex maintenance and upkeep are required to ensure everything functions properly. Specialized training for technicians and mechanics becomes essential to efficiently manage this advanced technology. All these elements must align for this new capability to be maximally utilized on the battlefield. With JASM, the Hornet has evolved into more than just a fighter jet. It is now a precision strike platform ready to face modern challenges. This combination expands its range and effectiveness, allowing the Marine Corps to conduct missions more safely and efficiently. As this technology operates on the battlefield, we will witness an inevitable transformation of air power. What do you think about the collaboration between the Hornet and JASM? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment below. And thanks for watching.